Hello, this is Mr. Stansberry. I'm going to take you through the notes um, on line of best fit by I. At the end of this, you should be able to say, I can draw a line of best fit by finding the mean point, and I can predict data using interpolation and extrapolation. All right, so drawing a line of best fit by I. First thing we got to do is find the mean of the X values, which is always X with a bar over the top, and also the mean of the Y values, Y with a uh, bar over the top. And remember, mean is the average. Mark the mean point, which is the x and the y. Um, this is uh, very important for doing a line of best fit by i. So we're going to mark that mean point on the scatter diagram. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to draw a line through the data point, uh, data points that includes the mean point for sure, and then has roughly the same number of data points above and below the line. Okay. So, um, also, there's, um, a, with line of best fit, there's interpolation and extrapolation. Okay, a couple of big words, um, but I think you'll understand what these mean here. Predicting data where the x value is within the given data points is called interpolation. Okay, predicting data where the x value is outside of the given data points is called extrapolation. Okay, so let's say here's all of our data points in here. So these are all of our data points. There's our lowest data point. Here's our highest data point uh, on the X. So if we're trying to figure out some other numbers in here, that would be interpolation, where X value is within the given data points. If you're trying to figure out what the X would be if it's over here or over here, which is outside of our uh, data points, that would be called extrapolation. Okay? Okay, example three. Um, at the ITTC, International Toaster Throwing Championships, all the athletes see how far they can throw a toaster. The age and distance thrown are recorded for each athlete. Okay, so we're going to go through and uh, we're going to figure this all out. So calculate X bar and Y bar. Now, that's basically the mean for X and the mean for Y. So you can go through and calculate that, add them all up, divide by the total number. Uh, we can do that. But what we're going to also do is we're going to do a line of best fit, predict how old someone would have to be to throw 20 feet, um, predict how far a 40-year-old would throw, so forth and so on. So um, this is just doing line of best fit by I. So we don't actually have to use the graphing calculator for this. You can do a linear regression like we did in the last section here, but um, on this here, we can simply just do what we were talking about. Just add these all up and divide by the total number to find our uh, mean for X and our mean for Y. So let's do that. Okay, so here we are. I put added those all up. Push equal, that's 270. So that's 270, and there's 12 total pieces of data, so divide that by 12, that will give us our mean point for the x. Okay, so we take that divided by 12, our mean point is 22 and a half. Okay, and then we now can do the same thing for y. Okay, so we put that all in there, we push enter, and that gives us 509. So we take our 509 and divide it by 12, and we get 42.416. So let's do 42.4. Okay, so calculate X and Y. That's what we just did here. So that means our mean point is going to be 22.5 and 42.4. That's our mean point. This has to be on our uh, best fit by I line. Okay, so let's see. Draw a scatter diagram for the data. So here can be our scatter diagram. We've got our age. We go anywhere from 19, it looks like, up to 27. And then the feet here is let's see it looks like the most is up to about 40 or so okay now here's something that's been pre-made did this uh, on on purpose here a little bit this goes all the way up to 45 we only need this to go up to about let's see we only need it to go up to 27 so that's about right here okay so 
the thing is what we want to do with this you usually want to try to use as much of the X and as much of the Y as you can so I I wouldn't necessarily use this we're gonna use it for now it's gonna be okay but um, you want to use almost as much of the X graph and almost as much of the Y graph as you possibly can it just makes it a little bit nicer here but you're gonna find that with this we're not gonna use all of the data all like all of our data is gonna fit in here not gonna fit out here it'll actually help out for extrapolation but um, anyway draw a scatter diagram for the data so we're gonna put all these we're gonna graph all these data points here okay and then also we're gonna graph our uh, mean point okay Start with the first one, 19 and 37. So the age is 15. Here's 19. And then there's 37-ish. Okay, so roughly right there. Okay, and we're going to go through and graph every point. Okay, so here's all of our data points all graphed, kind of all squished in here. Okay, and then I also put our mean point right here in red. Okay. So we drew a scatter diagram for the data, draw a line of best fit. So remember this line has to go through that um, mean point here. So it looks like it's kind of right about here, right? So let's just do, oops, let's do that, try that again. All right, so that's kind of, that's about that's probably about as close as we're gonna get it could be this could be down a little lower and this could be up a little higher to maybe fit the data a little better let's try that out see if we can't make this fit a little nicer that one might be a little better um, anyway so there's our line of best fit now from that predict how old someone would have would uh, would be to have a throw of 20 feet okay so 20 feet would be right here so that would be from our line here that would be about right here let's use a different color um, okay so there's let's see 20 feet would be here so we just go straight over to where that hits so they'd be about um, 10 years 10 years old okay all right we got three more questions here let's take a quick little comedy break first and then uh, we'll finish it up go go bring it back good girl <laughs> All right, um, predict how far a 40 year old would throw. So now we'd go over here to the age 30, there's 40. So we'd go straight up to where that line would be. So you can have to, you can extrapolate that line out. Looks like it'd be roughly right there, right? So we'd go over and say that'd probably be about, looks like a little above 70. So let's say 72 feet, roughly, okay? How reliable would your answers for D and E be? So would a 10 year old be able to throw 40, sorry, 20 feet? Possibly. Would someone who's 40 be able to throw it that much farther than all these people? Eh, probably not would be my guess. So um, the extrapolated answers sometimes would be reliable, sometimes they wouldn't. In this case here, that, that probably would be maybe pretty close. This year probably would not be very close. This this could be off, especially if you get down here to you know like a, a two year old is not going to be able to throw a toaster five feet, which looks like where the line would hit. So um, just kind of all depends. And then our D and E examples of interpolation or extrapolation. So ext that would those would both be extrapolation because they're outside of the data points. If you were to say, hey, how far should a twenty year old be able to throw? Then we just go right up to the line. That would be interpolation. Okay, all right, uh, that's all we have for the notes for line of best fit by eye. If you have any further questions, please feel free to ask. Thanks.